Act 2, Scene 28. The light grows warmer. Jill. It's called the China Pantry. She comes down and sits casually on the rail. Her manner is open and lightly provocative. During the scenes, Alan acts directly with her and never looks over at Dysart when he replies to him. When Daddy disappeared, she was left without a bean. She had to earn her own living. I must say she did jolly well, considering that she was never trained in business. What do you mean, disappeared? He ran off. No one ever saw him again. He just left a note on the dressing table saying, Sorry, I've had it. Just like that. She never got over it. It turned her right off, men. All my dates have to be sort of secret. I mean, she knows about them, but I can never bring anyone back home. She's so rude to them. She was always looking. At you? Saying stupid things. She jumps off the bench. Oh, you've got super eyes. Anyway, she was the one who had him. She sits next to him, embarrassed. The boy tries to move away as far as he can. There was an article in the paper last week saying what points about boys fascinate girls. They said number one is bottoms. I think it's eyes every time. They fascinate you too, don't they? Me. Or is it only horse's eyes? What do you mean? I saw you staring into Nugget's eyes at ages for yesterday. I spied on you through the door. There must have been something on it. You're a real man of mystery, aren't you? Sometimes. It was like she knew. Did you ever hint? Of course not. I love horses' eyes. The way you can see yourself in them. Do you find them sexy? What? Horses. Don't be daft. He springs up and away from her. Girls do. I mean, they go through a period where they pat them and kiss them a lot. I know I did. I suppose it's just a substitute, really. That kind of thing. All the time. Until one night. Yes. What? She did it, not me. It was her idea, the whole thing. She got me into it. What are you saying? One night, go from there. A pause. Saturday night. We were just closing up. How would you like to take me out? What? How would you like to take me out tonight? I've got to go home. What for? He tries to escape upstage. They expect me. Ring up and say you're going out. I can't. Why? They expect me. Look, either we go out together and have some fun, or you go back to your boring home. As usual. And I go back to mine. That's the situation, isn't it? Well, where would we go? The pictures. There's a skin flick over in Winchester. I've never seen one. Have you? No. Wouldn't you like to? I would. All those heavy Swedes, panting at each other. What do you say? Yeah. Good. He turns away. Go on, please. He steps off the square. I'm tired now. Come on now. You can't stop there. He storms around the circle to Dysart and faces him directly. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Well, you can't. I want to hear about the film. Hear what? What? It was bloody awful. The actors playing horses come swiftly onto the square, dressed in sports coats or raincoats. They move the benches to be parallel with the audience and sit on them, staring out front. Why? Nosy Parker. Why? Because... Well... We went to the cinema.